professor, physician, epidemiologist. I am Dr. Sri Banerjee. Hello, I am Dr. Sri Banerjee, core faculty for the College of Health Sciences and Public Policy at Walden University. It is with great honor that I present here at the International Conference of Alzheimer's and Parkinson's Disease and Related Disorders. The topic that is going to be presented is inflammation interacts with poor cognitive performance and its association with all cause mortality among older adults. And today I'm especially excited uh, to be presenting this topic because uh, this is the first time that I'll be presenting with my uh, collaborator, uh, Dr. May um, Bedoun. Um, and uh, she is from the National Institute of Aging from uh, the National Institute of Health. And so uh, I wanted to especially thank her um, for all of the um, expertise that she provided uh, in this um, conference um, topic and uh, research. So for starters, um, it's important to know that um, there are uh, a whole range of uh, cognitive decline and um, to try to understand more specifically Alzheimer's disease, um, it is one of the most common forms of dementia. Um, and it accounts for about 60 to 80 percent of all dementias. Um, and uh, six million Americans suffer from dementia uh, due to Alzheimer's disease. So, um, this is known, but what is really not known is how precisely inflammation um, affects the impact of poor cognitive function on all-cause mortality, um, and how this happens in older adults. Uh, this is uncertain. So um, it was interesting to look at um, heart failure and um, uh, look at it from that perspective and, and, and see that um, there was actually, um, when there were comorbidities like heart failure, um, there was an 80% increased risk of developing dementia. So um, a lot of common inflammatory bio, uh, biomarkers are involved um, when trying to understand um, some of these relationships. So um, these this was more evidence that we needed to look to inflammation to try to um, explain the connection between cognitive function and, and mortality. Um, other things to make note of um, is the fact that um, factors associated with community living. So um, this is really important because um, dementia actually uh, is, is something that is progressive. So it actually takes time to progress. And a lot of times um, initially, um, when the many mental status exam, um, the, the score that is used to assess for cognitive function, um, when that score is still higher, um, then they can continue living in, in uh, community, community environments. Um, but then um, when there's poor self-perceived health, um, lack of trust of neighbors, um, all of these things uh, make for poor um, unmet needs in, in housing. So um, these need to be addressed um, early on. So then um, thinking about um, inflammatory biomarkers. So the main inflammatory biomarker that is um, of interest is C-reactive protein. And um, for our purposes, what we did is we looked at, and this is previously validated in, in the literature, um, we looked at anything that was greater than two micrograms per deciliter of C-reactive protein um, as elevated. Um, and so when we were looking, and, and so this will come in handy later. Um, and of course, um, how we were looking at cognitive function, this was using 
um, something called the digit symbol substitution test. Um, and this was the um, test that was used to um, assess for cognitive skills. And so um, individuals, in, in, for our purposes, individuals that had congestive heart failure and were um, greater than or equal to 60 years of age uh, were included into the sample. And so uh, these individuals were followed up um, f into December of 2015. Um, and, and so what happened was we looked at how inflammation um, played a role in uh, making differences in mortality, and then how cognitive decline potentially modified that effect. That's what we were looking for. Um, and so um, what were the main results that we found? So the main results um, in, in, a, in, a, in a quick summary is that when individuals, we found that individuals that had poor cognitive function and increased C-reactive protein were in fact um, at higher likely to experience mortality than individuals that had normal cognitive function and increased C-reactive protein. So what does that mean? We really have to pay attention to biomarkers. And uh, C-reactive protein is one of many inflammatory biomarkers. But if we want to um, uh, understand prognosis and, and keep track of the prognosis and, and uh, disease progression, then we have to make more use of inflammatory biomarkers um, and, and even at a community level um, uh, assessing for these. Um, so more screening, um, more active screening. Of course, uh, the mini mental status exam is uh, extremely important. Um, and then public health interventions that um, on a community level um, address uh, these issues um, is extremely important. Thank you for listening.